Good morning, Dr. Eric here, Fan with Back Relief Center. Today we're gonna to go over some dietary guidelines for management of joint pain. As we get older, unfortunately, joint pain, muscle soreness, aching, uh, is all part of the aging process. Sometimes we overdo it, whether it's at home, or in the gym, or at work, and we pay the price. What we do in our office, chiropractic, uh, with the chiropractic care, is very useful for managing muscle soreness and joint pain hot and cold packs, exercise, chiropractic adjustments, stretching, the different therapies we use in the office, all help and aid. Uh, but if you're not eating the right foods, taking the right vitamins, um, it could be an uphill, uphill battle and challenge to manage that joint pain. So I'm gonna go over a few different things that people with joint pain, muscle soreness, should try to avoid or at least limit, uh, and you'll notice a big difference in the way you feel day to day. So, a couple different things. Number one, sugar is huge. Um, uh, avoiding things like desserts, sodas, fruit, sugary drinks, all create inflammation. They trigger inflammatory messages called cytokines, and that can cause a lot of discomfort and pain. Um, and you gotta avoid any of the foods that have the O's in it, the fructose, glucose, sucrose. Well, those things are gonna be bad for your joints and cause a lot of inflammation. The second thing we wanna try to avoid is trans fats. Uh, typically, a lot of fast foods and pre-prepared meals will have trans fats in them. We, we see them a lot in um, frozen breakfast foods, cookies, donuts, crackers. Um, uh, those types of things have a lot of trans fats. Um, foods that contain, if you look on the back of the, the, the container or packaging, it will say uh, partially hydrogenated oils as ingredients. So those are high in trans fats and cause a lot of inflammation and pain. We want to avoid omega-6 fatty acids. Um, these are found in things like uh, certain oils like corn oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, soy, peanuts, vegetable oil. These types of oils, if there is an overabundance in them and there's not a good balance between omega-3 and omega-6, then it can cause a lot of uh, achiness in your joints and pain. Refined carbohydrates. Uh, typically these are your white um, products like your breads, your cereals, your crackers. Um, they're gonna have a lot of refined carbohydrates and are a big part of obesity. Um, so we wanna try to avoid this as well. MSG, monosodium glutamate. Uh, it's typically found in foods that utilize soy products. Um, a lot of your takeout Chinese foods um, will have MSG in it and, uh, and also fast foods and uh, other fast foods and salad dressings will also have these types of um, MSG components to them and cause a lot of pain, inflammation and trigger that inflammation process. Uh, gluten, obviously a lot of people that's it's popular today, people have a lot of gluten uh, sensitivities, whether you have celiac disease or not, gluten definitely is an irritant. We find, we find this in wheat, uh, barley, rye, um, gluten can cause a lot of pain and inflammation, not only in your gut, but in your muscles and your joints as well. Uh, artificial sweetener like aspartame, we see that in you know um, artificial drinks and products uh, that try to hide or try to reduce the amount of sugar you take, but the aspartame and their artificial ingredients have been shown through the research to trigger inflammation in the body and cause pain. Uh, and then excess alcohol. Um, obviously this damages the liver and uh, interferes with a lot of metabolic fun functions which cause inflammation. So these are the things to avoid. Just a quick recap, we're talking sugar, we're talking trans fats, omega-6 fatty acids, uh, refined carbohydrates, MSG, gluten, aspartame, your artificial sweetener, and alcohol. These are the things you want to avoid if you're trying to reduce the amount of pain, uh, muscle soreness, joint pain, and inflammation in the body. Um, because no matter how many times we adjust you, no matter how many times we do stretching and exercise, if you're consuming those products in large quantities and you are getting older, you're gonna notice some pain and uh, aches throughout your day, uh, uncomfortable sleep patterns and such. Um, any questions about any of these particular guidelines, just give me a call, shoot me a message. I'm here and happy to answer all of your questions. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please click like, spread the love, share it, um, and we will see you in the office. Uh, we're back in the office tomorrow. Have a great day. It looks like it's going to be beautiful weather, and we will talk to you soon. So long.